Uh, pleasant good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Turfway Park Racing and Gaming, our Thursday opener at 5.55, about 28 minutes away. Nine races to beat us fast, couple of carryovers. 20 cent a single six a jackpot in the fourth, little shy of $19,000, a little more than $1,100 for the super high five carryover in the Thursday night cap. In the opener, a couple of scratches, five and nine, Luna Rosso and Spavina, five and nine, both scratch from the Thursday night opener. Eight white dub, one pound over. As always, the opener will begin the early double, the early pick three and the early pick five. And there they go, very slow start, lady on the go. Mischief Jack begins the quickest. Angel on fire is showing pace. Cruz and Lucy from her inside wants to go. She's forwardly positioned along the inside. So it is Angel on Fire and Mischief Jack. Mischief Jack has an arrow lead from Angel on Fire. Cruzy, cruising a Lucy's in a tight spot along the inside. White Doves, the gray, advancing. And here's Canopy with an early move into contention. Canopy within a length with momentum heading into the backstretch run. So it is Mischief Jack with the lead. Canopy turns up the pressure already at the 5'8". From the inside, Angel on a fire. White Dove from between gals and from the far outside. There is Golden Lake cruising. A Lucy is now in the sixth spot. Six lengths from the front, joined by Autism Compassion. And Lady on the go is the last of eight. Mischief Jack pressed along by Canopy. White Dove from between gals. Angel on fire from the rail. Golden Lake three deep. Autism Compassion continues to improve her position. She's more than four lengths off the lead heading into the turn. The other two have a lot of work to do. Cruz and Lucy and Lady on the go. Still Mischief Jack with the lead, and she has a length and a half from Canopy, and Canopy's under pressure. Here's White Dove along the inside. Autism Compassion continues with her run, and she's the one to recognize to the outside. Here comes Autism Compassion making her move after Mischief Jack. Autism Compassion comes away with the lead. Mischief Jack's back to second. White Dove third, then Angel on fire. And Canopy, Autism Compassion, and a stubborn Mischief Jack who's right back at her along the inside. Autism Compassion and Mischief Jack. Who's it going to be? Autism Compassion. Hard-earned victory from a very game. Mischief Jack, Angel on fire third, and White Dove checked in fourth for the Superfecta. Number two, Autism Compassion. I guess if the over-under for the margin of victory at the quarter pole was going to be more than a neck, you would have bet everything you had. Boy, you got to give the seven Mischief Jack a lot of credit. She was determined to stick around for as long as she could. In the end, it is two, Autism Compassion, who had that big run all the way to the quarter pole. She sustained it all the way to the wire, and she needed to because Seven Mischief Jack really gave a good account of herself. Just shy of a length score. Two Autism Compassion. The unofficial winner from Seven Mischief Jack. Third place, Six Angel on Fire. Fourth place, Eight White Dove. That final running time, 141 and 91 one hundredths. Entering the winner's circle is number two, Autism Compassion, a three-year-old Dark Bear Brown filly by Midnight Loot out of the Declaration of War Mayor, Namaka. by Tabora Racing Stables, LLC, winning at trainers, Aliska Kubanova, winning jockey, Abel Zadio. The winner was Brennan, Kentucky, by Columbiana Farm, LLC. 2768, the top four finishers. That exact of $51.20. The trifecta, $167.77. 10 cents superfecta, $125 and some change. $125.17, the dollar Superfecta, $1,251.77. Second race will kickstart the early pick four sequence, scratch 10 Whiskey Sis. 10 Whiskey Sis, scratch from this upcoming second race. Number two, Rolston, as an additional workout, 27th of January, right here at Turfway Park, fast race track, half mile move, 49 and four fifths breezy. Second race, 23 minutes away, 625 is the post time. And there they go. And showing some pace along the inside is Rolston. Helen May Song is also forwardly positioned. 
And here's by Rosie from between gals. Anita comes away running in the fourth position. After her is Warris with High Meadows. From the inside is Renaissance. Love Drunk races outside of Future Flay. Quiet Dawn is second last and Miss Getty Up as towards the tail of the field. That's where she has been doing some pretty good running this season. Most recently, she was forwardly positioned. Now she settles off the pace, and she's already taking off at the 3 eighths into the second to last spot. Back to the front end, Helen May Song gets the lead from Rolston. Anita pursues inside of my Rosie. Love Drunk is closing in. She's ready to take over the fourth spot. Renaissance is advancing along the inside. And they're going to quiet Dawn. After her is Future Flay. Miss Getty up along the inside. And High Meadows is at the back. Here comes Anita. And here comes Love Drunk to the outside to tackle Helen May Song. And Anita is up to the front at the eighth pole along the rail is Renaissance. It's Anita and Renaissance. Love Drunk is chasing them with quiet Dawn. Miss Getty up continuing to make up ground to the far outside but it's a minor placing at best. Here comes Quiet Dot along the inside to tackle Anita, and Anita stretches the neck for the score. That's Anita, second and third involving Quiet Dot and Love Drunk. Maybe Miss Giddy up for fourth for that superfecta. Number three, Anita is the unofficial winner. Seven to two in the wagering, covering the distance in 113 and 50. 100's got pretty tight for second. Please hold all tickets. Number three, Anita is making her way into the winner's circle. Anita is a five-year-old chestnut mare by Lee out of the Corinthian mare, Ukipa. Owned by Spice Stable LLC along with Randy Klopp. Randy is the winning trader, winning jockey Alberto Burgos. Winner was bred in Indiana by Deanne Bear along with Greg Bear. That exact $235.28, the trifecta $357.06, two three early double $29.52. 10 cents super factor, $355.55. The dollar super, a big one, $3,555.52. Third race offering a double and a mid pick, three scratch, four master of the night, four master of the night scratch from the third. Eight midnight award, one pound over, seven Lomachenko. The ownership line should read 2 8 Racing LLC. That is Jason Wirtz, 2 8 Racing LLC. Third race, 24 minutes away at 6.55. And there they go. Slow start, well spotted. Lomachenko quickly into stride. High-headed, wants to be forwardly positioned. Patch O'Brien splits them. High-headed, fleet of foot from the inside, making the pace from Patch O'Brien. Lomachenko's in the third spot from the outside, making a move into third is mastery and polish from the inside. Midnight Award comes away running in the fifth position. After him is well spotted, and Ice Moon is the last of all. High-headed, making the pace. Patch O'Brien now poking his nose in front. Lomachenko vying for third with mastery and polish. They are two lengths off the lead. Midnight Award a little less than four lengths from the front. Like the nap to well spotted. Similar margin back to Ice Moon, who's the last of seven. And Patch O'Brien still has his nose in front of High Headed. Mastery and Polish still vying for third with Lomachenko in the clear. Midnight Award midfield biding his time from the fifth spot. Now he's trying to take off just a little bit. Still four lengths off the lead. A length to Ice Moon and well spotted. High Headed heading into the turn with the lead from Patch O'Brien. Mastery and polished from the inside. Lomachenko's under a heavy drive, but he is progressing. Here comes Lomachenko getting within a length and a half near the quarter pole. Midnight Awards taking his sweet time to gear up. Still has four lengths to find. The other two are far back. Well spotted in Ice Moon. Patch O'Brien confronts high-headed. Lomachenko's been all in for quite some time. Midnight Award continues to try to close from the outside, but he is taking his sweet time to try to crash the party. High-headed and Patch O'Brien. Midnight Award into third from the outside. High-headed and Patch O'Brien. High-headed Patch O'Brien. Midnight Award third. High-headed and Patch O'Brien. High-headed. Living up to his name. High-headed from Patch O'Brien. The Midnight Award and Lomachenko. High-headed and Patch O'Brien. They got acquainted heading into the backstretch run and they never were separated throughout the running Big time effort from High Headed, living up to his name. You see why he was named High Headed. Held that high, held that head pretty high up near the wire. He's a narrow winner from Patch O'Brien. Two High Headed posted first, second place six Patch O'Brien, third place eight Midnight Award, fourth place seven Lomachenko. One forty and eighty-seven one hundreds. The final time. 
And the winner's circle is two high-headed, three-year-old chestnut gelding by Hightail out of the distorted humor mare, Mercy Ann, owned by Calumet Farm, winning trainer Owen Hardy. First career victory for the bug boy, Irving Moncada. Way to go, Irving. Very first career victory for this 10-pound bug. Winner was bred in Kentucky by owners Calumet Farm. And tonight's third race is official, 2687, 10 cents Superfecta, $37.56. 26 exacta, $85.94. 268 trifecta, $59.59. 32 a daily double, $27.81. Dollar Superfecta, $375.66. 232 early pick three, $61.56. Once again, a big Turfway Park. Congratulations to Irving Moncada, his first career victory. Fourth race will start our 20 cent single six jackpot. That carry over just a little shy of $19,000. Five scratches in tonight's fourth race. Number four, Shosha, the five official, a business, the ninth, Alberg. And both of the also eligibles, 13 and 14, stop the spread and dad's a little spark. Best of luck in the 20 cent single six a jackpot. Just shy of $19,000 carryover. It all happens in about 22 minutes at 7.25. And there they go, slow start, Galloway Peak. Whim away part of the pace. Also there, Huntington from the inside. City of God wants to be forwardly positioned. He is three deep with the green silks. Huntington intent on making the lead and City of God right there with his from his outside, his pace partner, these two hook up, and they are going at a pretty good clip, and they are separating from the others. Wimbaway third. He races outside of Abiaka. It's a break of nearly six lengths to El Pekin with Mr. Meeseeks from the inside. Nearly three lengths, Lieutenant Jack Calloway Peak in Mid-Atlantic is at the back. There is pace on up front. They are going quick for the level 23 and two-fifths. Huntington and City of God, whatever you can do, I can do better through the early stages. A four-length advantage to Biaka, who's trying to close in from third. In the fourth spot is Wimaway, a little less than six off the lead, nearly three and a half or four to Mr. Meeseeks. Almost four and a half lengths back to Mid-Atlantic, who's picking up his stride. Here comes Mid-Atlantic with momentum heading into the turn. He advances past. El Pekin, and also there with El Pekin from the outside is Lieutenant Jack, and Callaway Peaks at the back. They've been going quick up front, and it's still a city of God. And Huntington, they continue to slug it out. How about the trip for Mid-Atlantic? He got lots of pace to chase, and he is the one to key on. Ready or not, here I come, Mid-Atlantic. Mid-Atlantic with all the momentum inside the final furlong, ready to tackle the leaders. Wimoway's trying to go with them. Mid-Atlantic has sustained his charge. Now he just needs to see it through. Wimoway's going to try to come and tag him late. Mid-Atlantic and Wimoway. Mid-Atlantic. Mid-Atlantic from Wimoway. Huntington won the battle for third. He could not win the war. Fourth place goes to City of God. Twenty-three and two fifths for the opening quarter. Yeah, if it's a stakes race, not for the seventy-five hundred dollar beaten claimers, and it really took its toll on both Huntington and City of God. You got to give both credit for hanging on to at least complete the try and the Superfecta. It did shape up beautifully for Mid Atlantic. If you can bet at the five sixteenth, you're betting everything you got on Mid Atlantic. And then you had to sweat it out because Wimaway still had a little bit of a look in deep stretch. But it is 12 Mid-Atlantic who gets the job done. Six Wimaway ran well in defeat. He took advantage of the flow. Huntington won the battle. He could not win the war. He's third, fourth place, eight City of God. 141 and 19 one hundredths. The final time, 12-6-2-8 unofficially in the four. Mid-Atlantic. Northern Kentucky, a five-year-old bay gelding by Air Force of Blue out of the uh, King of Mambo Mare Rendezvous Point. Owned by Christina Estevanco along with Margot Scott. Richard Estevanco is the winning uh, trader, winning a uh, jockey is Edgar Martinez. Winner was bred in Kentucky by Crosshaven Bloodstock. 12 6 exact at $99.28. 12-6-2 2 trifecta, $111.66. 212 daily double, $20.37. 10 cent Superfecta, $119.55. Dollar Super, $1,195.59. 3 2 12 pick three, $94.15. Tonight's fifth race will start our late pick five, scratch five, Classic Julia. 
Classic Julia out of tonight's fifth. Ownership line on two, Midnight XO. Please omit the third owner, Mark Henry Constable. Our fifth race in 22 minutes at 7.55. When it comes to horse racing, you can never have too much information. With Twin Spires, you can place your bets with confidence. Whether you use handicapping insights, like our Brisnet speed ratings, prime power and past performances, the guidance of our experts' top picks, or just choose a name that catches your eye. Yes! No matter how you pick your horse, bet with Twin Spires and use stable alerts to never miss a bet. And there they go. Lady Livermore and Fessy and Slender Betsy. Slender Betsy is the quickest. Liturgia is forwardly positioned. And from the outside is Wilhelmina striding into the fifth spot. They're going to be a bolt runner, Desdemona Kay from her outside. They are five lengths off the lead. Almost a length and a half to strong demand. My gal Justice is second last in the early trailer as Midnight XO. Fessy battling for that top spot with Slender Betsy, Liturgy, and Lady Livermore on top of the action. Wilhelmina's in the fifth spot, and she's closing in. She has three lengths to make up near the 3-8. Strong demand is five lengths from the front. Desdemona K, 3D, be a bolt runner from between runners. Six or seven back to my gal Justice. And Midnight XO's at the back. Liturgy is up to the front from Lady Livermore. Fessy's giving way just a bit. Wilhelmina's under a fierce drive from the outside. Further out, strong demand. Be a bolt runner. Very deep off the turn. Liturgy is the one to come and catch. Lady Livermore's right there with her. Liturgy and Lady Livermore. And Wilhelmina continues to chase them from third. Lady Livermore right alongside of Liturgy. Wilhelmina's third. Up goes Lady Livermore. Lady Livermore's heading to the winner's circle. Liturgy is second. Wilhelmina third. Strong demand for for the Superfecta. Lady Livermore at even money. Got some fans pumped up down on the apron. So let's go and yes sir chance for the even money favorite Lady Livermore. 113 and 59 one hundredths the final time. Nice effort from the runner up eight Liturgia. Photo third and fourth. Please hold all tickets until results have been declared official. Lady Livermore pounded down in the late stages to even money, clear cut favoritism. And the winner's circle is 10, Lady Livermore, five year old chestnut mare by Lord Nelson out of the Orientate mare, Harlow Gold, owned and trained by Steve Armstrong, winning at jockey Tiago Canuto. Lady Livermore was bred in Kentucky by Cardinal Farm LLC. Race five is official. 10, 8, 11, 1, that exact at $22.42. Trifecta, $27.35. 12, 10, daily double, $17.50. Early pick four, two hundred twenty-four dollars thirty-seven cents. Ten cent superfecta, thirty-nine dollars twenty-six cents. Dollar superfecta, three hundred ninety-two dollars sixty-three cents. Two twelve ten pick three, forty-four dollars and a nickel. Early pick five, one thousand seventeen dollars twenty-four cents. Four out of five, fifteen dollars thirteen cents. Race six starts the late pick four, scratch nine, the club, nine, the club, scratch from the sixth. Axel Concepcio, new jockey, eight trouble making. Our late pick four, 23 minutes away at 8.25. And there they go. Under the bed is sent for the lead from the inside. Little Dixie forwardly positioned from the far outside is trouble making. It is under the bed who makes the pace to the seven eights. Under the bed on the lead, when the into the second spot is troublemaking. Under the bed from troublemaking, Little Dixie's third. Here's West Coaster into fourth from Stable Mate. Miss Good Bar, Bolsaro from the far outside. Jackie's Love from the rail. And Zig Zappa is the last of all, and she's about seven lengths off the lead. Maybe a little less than that. Six and a half for seven lengths covering the group. And it is under the bed almost a length from the outside. Troublemaking second. West Coaster third. Little Dixie has the fourth spot. Bolsara on the class drop. She's in the fifth position. Little more than four lengths off the lead. About a neck in front of Jackie's love. Then go to Miss Goodbar. And Zig Zappa is still at the tail. So it is under the bed. The eight to five favorite with the lead to herself. Two and a half lengths. Troublemaking continues to chase the pace from second. 
48 and three fifths the half. West Coasters into third, Little Dixie's fourth. Bolsara has the fifth spot, a little less than five off the lead, almost a length to Jackie's Love. About three and a half lengths to Zig Zappa. And at the tail, Miss Goodbar. And under the beds, doing things nicely. She gets all of the attention at the quarter pole. Builds up five lengths to Little Dixie. West Coaster, three wide. From between runners, races troublemaking. Bolsara wide off the turn. Then Jackie's Love under the bed, just cruising with the top spot. Little Dixie second under the bed at the eighth pole with the lead. Better than four lengths to Little Dixie. Bolsara's into third. Under the bed has controlled this one throughout. And there were never any threats to under the bed. An easy winner from Little Dixie, Bolsara, West Coaster, four. Sharp horses win races under the bed, up in class, dominating with an easy wire-to-wire -wire victory under Luan Machado. Just cruised against 15,000 non-winners of a two-lifetime, steps up to the 30-20 to in 3L level in. Even more impressive than that score on the 13th of January. Under the bed, going pretty good these days. She was the easy winner from one Little Dixie. Third place, Evan Abulzara. Fourth place, six West Coaster. That final running time, 139 and 68 one hundreds. Make sure to hold all tickets. Under the bed, really likes it here at Turfway Park Racing and Gaming. Five starts have resulted in three wins, one second, and one third place finish. That is two in a row for this four-year-old at Bay Philly by strong mandate out of the Gopher Gin Mare, Bombay Bridget. By PTK LLC, winning trainer is Doug Cowens, winning jockey Luan Machado, winner was bred in Kentucky by her owners. Ten cent super fact twenty-seven dollars seven cents. Dollar super two hundred seventy dollars seventy-one cents. Twelve ten three pick three thirty-two dollars and five cents. Three one exacta from the six seventeen dollars eighty-six cents. Three one seven trifecta twenty-four dollars thirty-eight cents. Ten three daily double. For that one dollar, eight dollars and fifteen cents. Seventh race will start our late pick three scratch six Sergeant Barger. Seventh race is twenty-three minutes away. Eight fifty-five is the post time. And there they go. Strange arrange from the top shelf quickly away. Grand Tortuga and fires into the second spot with cut glass. One for Richie as the fourth position. Mailbox money is fifth along the inside. More than four lengths off the lead. Two clear of Dreaming of Smarty. Then we're going to Macho Justice from the inside. Last Rue and Jova is the last of nine. And it is Strange Arrange with the killer crossover making the pace to the three eights. Better than a length to cut glass who is stalking from the second spot. Here's one for Richie on the move into third. Back to the fourth spot, Grand Tortugon in the fifth position races. Dreaming of Smarty and to his outside races Mailbox Money. And after them races Last Rue, who's beginning to close in very nicely. Last Rue is progressing to the far outside. Macho Justice and Jover, the last two. Strange Arrange confronted by one for Ritchie. Strange Arrange at the eighth pole with the lead. One for Ritchie is second. In third, Grand Tortugon. Last Rue's into the fourth spot. Strange Arrange still with the lead. One for Ritchie and Grand Tortugon to the outside. Here comes Grand Tortugon. Grand Tortugon and Luan Machado in the photo there. Think they got it over Stranger Range. They're going to one for Richie and last row fourth. Perfectly timed by Luan Machado. Grand Tortugon with a good looking stride in the final furlong. 112 and 32 one hundred. Six to one in the upset. Five Grand Tortugon has been posted first. Second place, 10 Strange Arrange. Did all the heavy lifting, just got tagged late. Third place, eight, one for Richie. Fourth place, two, last room. Five, 10, eight, two, unofficially in the seventh. Kindly retain all mutual tickets until results have been declared official. In the winner's circle is five Grand Tortugon, a seven-year-old chestnut gelding by Irish brother out of the Dan's Brightly Mare. La Bravura, the Chilean. Owned by Jagbark Farms LLC, winning a trainer's Ryan Walsh back to back for the Axeman, Luan Majado. The winner was Bred and Jilly by No Registrado. 
Exacta $139.84, the Trifecta $261.88, 35 Machado Daily Double, the Axeman's Double $23.74. 10 cent superfecta $345.91 dollar super 3459 dollars 12 cents 1035 pick 3 42 dollars 56 cents race 8 is our thursday night featured event it begins our late daily double number 10 rocks princess has an additional workout churchill training 27th of january 3 8 38 and 4 fifths breezing over a fast racetrack our thursday night featured event in 23 minutes at 9 25 featured event and there they go. Beautiful beginning. Out for the lead. Get serious. Gray Vixen flashing plenty of foot from the inside. She'll pick it up with Alexa Lou. So it is Gray Vixen and Alexa Lou. Get serious. Comes away running in third. Can't keep me down. Has the fourth position. Hurry up. Hannah's much closer this evening. She's about three lengths off the lead, and she wants to go. Luan Machetta wants her to settle from the inside. Gray Vixen. Here's Can't Keep Me Down rushing up to the Shared top spot in the third position, Alexa Lou. Harrington Rocket from the outside gets serious in the two path. And here is Hurry Up Hannah who has settled down along the inside. And she is a little less than four lengths off the lead. Almost a length the present moment to the far outside is tick, 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 boom. And towards the tail of the field, there races Wave Skipper and Rocks Princess. Can't keep me down, has the lead from Gray Vixen. Harrington Rockets there, tick, 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 boom, makes her move to the far outside. Alexa Lou from the rail. And from between runners, present moment, a little more than three lengths to find. Here comes Hurry Up Hannah. She needs some racing room, but Hurry Up Hannah has a little bit of a look. Looks like she's got some run for Luan Machado. She just has nowhere to go. She's idling right now along the inside. Rocks Princess tries to close in. Gray Vixen still with the lead. Can't keep me down. has been testing her for quite some time. Tick, 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 booms, making her move. Present moment needs somewhere to go. Now one opening appears in the three path. And here comes Hurry Up Hannah to the far outside. Hurry Up Hannah and present moment. Present moment from the inside. And Hurry Up Hannah, a happy hour for Luan Machado, the Axeman, with three in a row. Training double for Doug Cowens. Hurry Up Hannah from present moment. Then Harrington Rocket and tick, 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 boom, fourth. Hurry up, Hannah. She looked pretty good winning her recent race, which had Icicles come back to win a stakes race in her subsequent start. How about the Axeman? What an evening for him. Luan Machado, a happy hour, rattling off three in a row, trading double for Doug Cowens. Hurry up, Hannah, five to two. She is the post-time favorite, Vans. That's very important since two. Namde Plume was a late-track veterinarian scratch. Six, hurry up, Hannah, the five to two post-time favorite. Hurry up, Hannah. Don't listen to your name, girl. Savor the moment. Rattling off two in a row. A four-year-old dark bear brow filly by Jack Milton out of the power broker mare, Malibu Zong. On by Run for the Hill stable. Doug Cowens with the training double. How about the Axeman? A happy hour for Luan Machado. Three in a row. The winner was bred in Kentucky by Tim McCarthy. And race eight, our Thursday night featured event is official. Six, eight, nine, eleven. Once again, you are reminded two. Nom de Plume was a late scratch. Three, five, two. Consolation pick three, seven dollars fifty-five cents. Three, five, six. Pick three, forty-five dollars forty-six cents. Six, eight, exacto, forty-six dollars fourteen cents. Six, eight, nine, trifecta, fifty-eight dollars seventy-one cents. Five, six, Machado daily double, twenty-nine dollars sixty-eight cents. It's a Machado pick three. Cowens and Machado bookend it. The Axeman with the happy hour. Claiming the pick three. All right, one more to go. The ninth and final, our Thursday nightcap. Can Luan Machado sweep our late pick four? He's got a shot. Eight stones throw his mount here. In the nightcap, scratch 10, Spyro, 10, Spyro out of the nightcap. Axel Concepcio, new jockey for Illini. 9-2 close, now carrying two pounds over. Corey Orm at 122. The 9-2 close, two pounds over the weight. A couple of additional workouts. Number two, charge the castle. Skylight Training Center, 18th of January. Half mile move, 50 and 4 fifths, freezing over a fast track. The 9-2 close right here at Turfway Park. Fast as always, 27th of January. 3-8, 38 and 1 fifth, freezing. A super high five carryover, $1,117. The Thursday night gap in 22 minutes at 9.55. They're at the post. 
And there they go. Quick start, Stone's throw, one from the outside. Thick as Thieves hustled along with more zip. Too close from the far outside. Charged the castle along the inside. Heavy hitters trying to advance into the second spot inside of Too Close. Here's Elm Street midfield. Five lengths off the lead. Three clear of Illini who races with Firewire. Luan Machado looking to sweep our late pick four. Has Stone's throw with the lead. Better than a length. A length and a tail, we'll call it. To the outside is heavy hitter. Charged the castle's third. Too close and more zip. Have more than three and a half to find heading into the turn. Better than a length to Elm Street. Illini is third last. Thick as Thieves second last. And Firewire can see them all. Stone's throw, 23 and two-fifths. A soft flow and a six and a half furlong affair. Stone's throw with a length advantage. And he's the one to beat. Heavy hitters under a heavy drive. Charge the castle comes under a little pressure from the inside. Illini has improved his position. He's into fourth outside of Elm Street. Thick as thieves from the inside. Then more zip fire wire and too close. And it's all about Luan Machado. And Stone's throw in the nightcap. And he leads past the eighth pole. Charge the castle is second. How about the axe man? You don't need a gun when you got an axe. And it's all about Luan Machado sweeping our late pick four. Richard Estevanco with a trading double stone throw wins the money. They stacked up for second, third, and fourth. Elm Street, thick as thieves, charge the castle. We know Illini completed the super high five. Not sure about the race call. I was trying to say the old analogy, don't bring a knife to a gunfight. Well, when you got the ax, man, you don't need a gun. It's all about Stone's throw who popped the starting gate. It was pretty much race over with that 23 and change opening quarter. Stone's throw all the way is the two to one favorite. 119 and 17 one hundreds the final time. And the winner's circle is number eight, Stone's throw. Three-year-old Dark Bay or Brown Gelding by McLean's Music out of the AP Indy Mare so far by Christina Estevanco along with Margot Scott doubles for them doubles for Richard Estevanco. The late pick four belongs to one man, the Axeman, Luan Machado. Sweeping our late pick four. The winner was bred in Kentucky by Godolphin. And here we go with the prices. Start out with that pick six carryover, $20,903.60. A2 exact of $41.82. A25 trifecta, $33.73. Axeman late double, $12.82. Luan Machado's late pick four, $94.97. 10 cent super, $32.64. Dollar superfecta, $326.43. Luan's late pick, $380. 528 consolation version, $9.98. Our pick five, late pick five, $180.15. Four out of five, $3.45. The dollar super high five was hit, What he said, pick six, $348.81. So we do have that 20 cent single six jackpot carry over to the Friday's Alive card. A little shy of $21,000, $20,903.60. That is it for our Thursday night of action. The Thursday night MVP, the Axeman, Luan Machado sweeping our late pick four. Sure hope you had a great evening of racing when leaving the track. Please drive very carefully. We'll see you tomorrow, Friday's Alive, 555. This has been racing from Turfway Park Racing and Gaming. Good night, everyone.